Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sotko here. Welcome back to the channel. I just got a quick announcement for you guys, and that's going to be the Inno A10 Ethereum Miner from InnoSilicon. Uh, I'm not personally a huge fan of ASIC miners for a, a number of reasons, but I know that a lot of my viewers are, and a lot of people love the ASICs, especially the new ones when they come out. Um, you know, they're very profitable for at least a little while. Uh, so, these these images come from a conference in China. I was actually emailed more pictures of the Ethereum uh, miner and its chip and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if that person was at this uh, specific conference. I know he is in China, uh, the person that uh, emailed me. Uh, so I do appreciate those emails. Thank you for that. Um, so. Before we had the Ethereum miner, uh, and it was only 180 mega hash, and uh, it, it's it was priced correctly in my opinion, and its uh, wattage was actually pretty good, uh, but it wasn't that amazing. 180 mega hash is really not that amazing. You can you can achieve that with like five or six, uh, uh, you know, uh, 570, you know, AMDs or whatever. So it wasn't that amazing. Uh, this one is a bit better. Uh, its price is much higher because it is in a silicon, and they always have the pretty much the highest priced uh, ASIC miners. But its it, its hash rate is pretty good at 485 and only at 850 watts. So that is really really good. Uh, if you tried to get 485 mega hash out of graphics cards, uh, you would certainly go way way above that wattage. So that's one thing that ASICs are really always good at. Um, as you can see, they're priced differently, uh, 432 mega hash and 365 mega hash. So they have like three different models or so. And um, it's priced in yuan, so I don't know the actual prices of these. I did a quick calculation of, of the highest one here, and it was fi about 5,000. It was actually a little less than 5,000 US dollars. Uh, and then this one was like 4,300, and this one was like 3,800 or something like that. Don't quote me exactly on that. Uh, but again, it's pretty easy to just pull up a Google calculator and, and uh, you know, just calculate the, the yuan to your uh, to your specific currency. So uh, I want to talk about these a little bit. Uh, 400 85 mega hash so 485 mega hash is about $16 and 23 cents a day of course that's going to go down a little bit over time because of difficulty uh, but at the moment that's about 1.07 ethereum a month which is not bad um, and if ethereum price rises then that's even even better um, so one ethereum month not bad for 850 watts uh, usually these things are pretty loud and pretty uh, um, just pretty loud and bulky in your house uh but if you have like a basement or a shed or a back room or something like that and you put these in here it's not too big of a deal you just sort of turn it on and pretty much forget about it um and only 850 watts is, is really just not that bad so this is on bitcointalk.org i'm going to provide this link in the email uh or excuse me in the description of the video down below because there's a lot of good conversation on this uh, and a couple that I really wanted to note on. So one person said this saves roughly about $1,000 a year uh, for the 450, 485 mega hash at 10 cents a kilowatt, if that's what you're paying. So, of course, you have to factor that in uh, using RX 570 efficiency. Um, so, uh, and, you know, some other people do some calculations on it, you know, costing about $5,000 uh, to, to get all the stuff to actually make this. Um, and then some people are suggesting that, well, it's probably better off just using GPUs because you could resell them at a later point. Um, some people are saying that uh, this is pretty good for now until, uh, you know, the new wave of GPUs come out, which are more efficient and more powerful so yeah, about 5,000 for the 485, about 4,400 for the 430 uh, mega hash model, and, and 3,800 for the 365, uh, and that's just uh, calculated from yuan to US dollar. So, um, you know, people are talking about POS too, um, and nobody knows when that's going to come. So Ethereum is going to be Ethereum 2.0 at some point, and it's going to be a proof of stake. Uh, I heard it's going to be, you know, like sort of a mix, like there, there will be proof of uh, a proof of work and proof of stake. Uh, there's, there's not a lot of information about Ethereum 2.0 just yet. So this is person here is saying, you know, that if, if, if it comes out in six months, you're not going to make your money back. Um, and you're likely to make more profit on the short-term sale of the miner than you are mining profits long-term. Uh, by comparison, the E3 is very inefficient to the uh, 365A10. 
That's going to cause its value to drop. It's all gamble, but for those looking to make some nice dollar short term, it's a good move. Difficult in getting ready to spike again, and this will certainly make the difficulty spike. Uh, you know, of course, there's going to be thousands of people ordering these, and uh, with thousands of people ordering these, that's the equivalent of, of uh, times eight or times ten uh, GPU sales going into Ethereum. So uh, it will raise the difficulty a little bit. Um, I don't think they are for sale just yet on the InnoSilicon website, but uh, sooner or later they're going to come out. So this was just a conference in China talking about them. So uh, pretty good for now. Uh, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of ASICs. Uh, there's a number of reasons, and one is that they like to break down. Two, uh, <clears throat> you know, it kind of centralizes mining, and you know, you kind of got to look out for that in the long term. Um, you know, three is their, is their price, obviously, uh, you know, and then there's the power usage. But again, you have to consider, well, am I going to use eight GPUs, which is going to take triple the power of, of 850 watts? Um, you know, there's a lot of things uh, that go into it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and, uh, you know, keep an eye out for the A10 if that's something you guys are looking for. Uh, but until then, I will see you guys next time.